true vampire here. So I am trying something a little bit different here today. As you can see, I've got an actual like headset with a mic on. Even though you can see my mic. <laughs> I'm using my laptop, and I'm using the camera on my laptop to do this recording. And I'm going to do another Loot Crate unboxing because my new Loot Crate came in. Can you sit there? I should have probably set that up ahead of time. But anyway, that was the gigantic, humongous cord that goes with this headset. So, let's see. I got two of the level ups, one's the t-shirt and I think one's the socks, because the loot crate this month was dystopia, and the socks I think were Star Trek, so that just appealed to me, and I'm not sure why I remember what the t-shirt was, so I'm going to open uh, one of the level ups, so here is the level up, let me just cut my face off, yay, and I'm going to open one of these first. That was not I failed. So bad on these guys. And see what is inside. Oh, it's the socks. Okay. So probably like a really silly thing for me to get the socks. Because I have like super tiny feet. <laughs> and they don't ask shoe size to like menu issue size, so these look like they might fit though, so here's the Star Trek socks, and they look fit shoe size 8 through 12, so they would be a bit big, but maybe I could get away with it, unless it's kids, doubt it though, it's kind of Anyway, maybe I'll get away with it. They, they're cool looking. I love Star Trek. Such a, such a geek in that regard. And this is the... Oh, the other pair is Fallout. And these are the same. So, yeah, like... I guess because they don't have, like, it has a heel. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work out. I can wear them around the house or something. I usually wear small socks, so wearing tall socks is kind of strange. I feel like that's a little too close. Cut that back a little bit. Throw away my trash. And then you get the little booklet, Dystopia. I like Fallout, so that's cool to get the socks in Fallout. Alright. We'll open up the other one. I'm gonna put this close up. Gosh. You see my spoiled hamster cage back there? He's got tubes to everywhere. He's the most spoiled hamster ever. Not really. I have a girl hamster that's more spoiled than him. I don't tell him. He's blind. Doesn't matter. Gets around his cage. That's about all he can do. Alright. So, the other one, which I just opened on my lap, silly me, is, um, Multinational United. I don't know, it's pretty cool looking. Oh, okay, District 9. So, that's cool. I liked that. I like District 9. I like weird things like that, though. I love dystopia. I like what's, you know, like, gonna happen in the future apocalypse and stuff like that. And we always have. Which means I should have played Fallout a lot sooner than what I actually did. Because once I started playing, I was like, oh my god, I really love this game. But that was only, like, last year. So, <laughs> yeah. I should have played sooner. But I didn't. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll play it now. It's cool. So here's the loot crate itself. Do you have anything to cut me open? I do. Okay. So I'm going to put it on the computer for a second and cut it open. 
I've been using my computer. Here we go. Wonderful box cutter. Yeah. I'm a farm girl. I carry one of those with me everywhere. Not really. Not everywhere. Just when I'm going to the farm or when I'm going to work. Stuff like that. The only carry it to work is to get open boxes. You need a box cutter to open boxes. Okay, so it's open. This is cool. Dystopia. Let's get that cracked, gravelly, gross look of a distant future that's. Yeah. So, first thing, there's like three things that you can easily see a t shirt, the figurine, and something else that's Matrix. That's a puzzle. That's cool. Alright. So I will pull them out. I'm going to put this on my lap and pull them out on day one. Fallout. Vinyl collectible. That's cool. So here it is in the box. Let's get it out of the light a little bit. I don't know what it's looking like. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's the ones that you could get, I guess. This guy's pretty cool in the hazmat gear. Let's get this thing again. Kinda that way it's just kinda like nice, clean, neat cut in it. Oh. Or is this I don't know, it's just gear. There's the little figure. It's protected from radiation and gas and everything. It's got a little gun going on there. Looks like probably like a lamp, something else on the helmet. You can see in the dark. Maybe even like. What do you call those red, red lights? I don't remember, but really see in the dark. Just put it right back in there. <laughs> that was a bad one. There you go. Nice and tucked back away in your box. You're cute. We'll put you up somewhere. Put you up somewhere. Okay. Oh, you can still see it back there. Kind of. The box is in the way. Alright. The next thing is this matrix puzzle. Because it says puzzle. 300 piece puzzle. That's pretty cool. I like puzzles. And I liked the matrix. I really enjoyed that movie. I didn't enjoy any of the ones after it quite as much as the first movie. But I did watch them all. So that's good. This. See what it, if it just looks like? Yeah, just a standard puzzle in the little bag inside. That's cool. That'll be fun to make. Really easy though, because it's only 300 pieces. And I like to do bigger puzzles, thousand piece puzzles. Oh, the pin. No, this is not a pin. It's a blank key. Okay, this is a blank key for Bioshock. <laughs> don't know if it will come up because it's got the shiny on the bag. There we go. That's pretty cool. I played Bioshock. I really enjoyed it. It said I like dystopia stuff, so it kind of fits was a fun game and that's a pretty cool looking key you could definitely take that to Walmart and get that cut or something I don't know actually use it as an actual key that'd be cool so you get the pins you know you get the pins in every box so this being the dystopia one this is a 
<laughs> try to get the shine off it there as much as possible. So that's that's pretty cool. It's it's gonna explode at some point, I'm sure. Cause a lot of problems. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. I feel like every time I really move, it like makes a lot of vibrationy things with the camera. <laughs> So I'm trying not to move very much. I don't think I'm doing a very good job, but I'm trying. All right. So there's the T-shirt, which is oh my god, RoboCop. I love these movies. <laughs> I really do love those movies and the RoboCop. That was like, yeah, yeah. I I love them. Okay, so we got ourselves the RoboCop. I can just show that. So I know I just showed it, but I'll show it again a little bit here. Cut my face off again. I don't know how much of it is being seen. But I feel like this is really big. Did I up the size? No. I just feel like that's like big. Like the two T-shirts are the same size, and I don't feel like they're the same size randomly right you are no okay no they're not the same size I thought I changed it to be the same size That's weird. whatever okay <clears throat> and there is I I don't know I mean, I know this is Terminator, obviously. I've seen those movies. I love those movies. Who doesn't like Arnold Schwarzenegger? But, I don't know what this is itself, besides metal. Oh, I don't know. What is this? Luke? Create official member card. Okay, so this is just an official member card. I'm now an official member. <laughs> Yay. Cool. And the book. So I'm going to look. Oh, that's cool. Oh, the book. The box is Fallout. <clears throat> so it's got the Fallout guy in the box. Oh, light. Just stop yourself. You don't stop yourself. Okay, there we go. No, that's kind of that's close. Yeah. That's cool. That's really cool. Like, I definitely want to find a spot for that. Flip it around and use that actual box, because that's really cool. I like that. <coughs> Sorry. Four things from Fallout that we want in real life. That's in the book. So you get the book. Obviously, you get the Loot Crate magazine. I'd like to have a Pip-Boy. That's for sure. That'd be cool. I'd like to have a power suit, too. That would be cool. Helpful. Oh, so that's what he's technically wearing, is the power suit. I play. I should know this stuff. I'm blonde, so obviously. You can see. I'm blonde. Robot butlers. Heck yes. Thank you. And Stimpak. Yes. No more doctors. That would be great. I don't like going to the doctor. I do, but I don't like going. Alright, so we've got the Robocop t-shirt. Metal print. That's all? Metal print. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. It's creepy. Which is great. That would definitely, like, if you woke up in the middle of the night and you had this hanging on your wall, like, that would definitely creep you out for a second. Like, oh my god, somebody's in my room. And then, oh no, no, they're actually not. Okay, it's fine. But that's cool. Can you stand over here? Nice. Yeah, it's showing up. Very cool. Well, anyway, this has been fun. Maybe I'll flip this box inside out so we can really look at it real quick because it's real easy, real quick and easy, because I feel like there's so much more on here, so cool,
Alrighty. But anyway, this has definitely been my favorite loot crate so far. Out of the three that I've gotten, because I've only gotten three. I also got an extra one, because they had them on sale. And there were some pretty cool items in that. Got the hoverboard from Back to the Future. That was really cool. So... That was one of the things like I saw from earlier loot crates that I really wanted, so I was like, that's awesome that I got that. That, that was fun. Alright. <clears throat> I can't get it on. Okay. I got it. I got it. We're good. Okay. So, we've got, um, I feel like I have to go above, there we go, above my head a bit to really kind of see. So, you've got the guy standing in the, or the power suit plugged into the machine in the garage ready for use when and if you need it and I like that the uh, soda machine 50s style old soda machine that is cool you go to the other side you've got your jacket is that a jacket oh no I think that's the vault suit from being down in the vault, and the gun, and a nice chair, and just sit and relax, like you ever have time to relax in life. Who has time to do that? Anyway, so this has been really long. <laughs> if you guys made it this far, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I'll try to work on the camera. I actually have like a real camera. Maybe I could get up and running if I do this again next month. We'll see what next month is going to be. But thank you guys for watching. And um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys.